Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and this week we're making 10 best watermelon recipes. This week's Notification Squad shout out goes to Hardeep. Thank you for your lovely comments every week. For your chance at a shout out, subscribe and press the bell to turn on notifications and write done in the comments so I know you've done so. I'm also going to be doing live videos on YouTube midweek for the next little while so having your notifications on will mean you will know when they are happening too. Recipe number one is a super easy one, watermelon popsicles. To make these all you need to do is cut some pieces of fresh watermelon and then place them into a food processor and puree them until they're smooth. Pour that into cups making them around two thirds full and then take a piece of card and push a cake pop stick through the centre and rest that over the top of each cup to hold it in place for the handle and then put that in the freezer to freeze. In a bowl place some cream cheese, vanilla and sugar and mix that together. Spread spoonfuls around the top of the frozen watermelon and I'll put all of the recipe quantities for all of these recipes on the howtocookthat.net website for you and there's a link to that below. Peel and chop some kiwi fruit and puree that and if you don't have a food processor you could just mash the fruit using a potato masher here instead. Spoon two tablespoons on top of each cup and return that to the freezer. Once they're frozen, you can just pull them out like this and eat them. I like to give kids the cup as well when they're eating them so they can put them back in in between bites and that just helps catch any drips. Next we have ombre watermelon dessert. To make this, you'll need biscuits and butter for the base, gelatin, cream, watermelon juice that's been strained, lime juice, egg whites and sugar. Pour some of the watermelon juice into the gelatin and stir it. To make watermelon juice you can, if you have one, use a juicer and that is quite convenient because it separates out the juice and the pulp for you or you can use a food processor to puree it and then just pour that through a fine sieve to strain it. Now hang on to this pulp because we're going to use that in another recipe. Back to our ombre dessert. Leave that gelatin to absorb the water and then crush the biscuits in a food processor or you could put them in a bag and bash them with a rolling pin instead. Then mix in the melted butter into those crushed biscuits and tip all of that into the base of a loose based tin and press the crumbs down tightly using the back of a spoon. Place the egg whites over a pan of simmering water and add about half of the sugar and whisk that together. Now you can keep whisking this by hand or you can use an electric mixer if you've got one because that will be much easier. And keep going until the egg whites are hot and you have stiff peaks and then you can just leave that to cool. Tip the gelatin mixture into a large bowl and microwave that until the gelatin is melted and it looks liquid. Pour in the rest of your juice and stir that well together. Put the cream and the rest of your sugar into a bowl and whisk that until you get firm peaks. Now you want to add about a third of the cream to the juice and mix it in thoroughly. Then about a cup of that mixture into the egg whites and mix that through. Mixing through this smaller amount first just makes it easier for these to combine together while keeping some of the air in it. So now next, yes, combine all of those things together. The watermelon juice, the whites and all of the cream, just folding them together, keeping in as much air in the mixture as possible. Tip that into your tin and place it into the fridge to set. And while it's setting, it will separate out into that top moussey layer and then the ombre jelly underneath. And you just have to cut slices of this and serve it cold. And it looks pretty and it tastes, of course, of watermelon because that's the main ingredient in it. Now let's make the watermelon fruit leather. Remember that pulp we had left over from straining our juice? Take that and put it in a nut milk bag. Just scoop it in and you can see immediately already we have more juice separating from the pulp. Just hang the bag up over a bowl and leave it for about 30 minutes so that it can drip and drain out and you get a drier pulp. Spread that pulp out to form a square and you can mix some sugar into this if you want it to be sweeter or you can leave it as is to make it super healthy. Then bake that in the oven on low heat for two hours. You're basically trying to dry it out, not so much bake it and then it will look like this. I've seen other recipes that say to bake it for eight hours but by adapting that recipe and adding in the nut milk bag stage just to strain some of the liquid out of it then you can do it in just two hours. Use a pizza cutter to cut it into strips and 
roll it up with some nonstick baking paper. Now the pulp from half a melon made only three roll ups. So if you want to make these in bulk, you're going to need a lot of watermelon juice to use for something else. To make easy, yummy and refreshing watermelon sorbet, cut up watermelon into small pieces and then put them onto a lined tray and you want to freeze those for at least a few hours. Place the frozen pieces into a food processor and process until you get a fine sorbet. Serve scoops into small bowls and sprinkle with chocolate chips for the seeds if you like. Next we have watermelon cookies. This is the only recipe I'm including that doesn't actually have watermelon in it, but they're super cute and easy to make. To make them you'll need butter, icing sugar, flour, vanilla, green and red food coloring, corn flour and egg yolks. Add the sugar to the butter and mix it until it's light and fluffy. Then add in your egg yolks and vanilla and stir it again. Then finally add in the flowers and mix until they're just combined. Split the mixture into three bowls and leave one plain, colour one green and the other red. Take the red mixture and make a long snake and then wrap that tightly in plastic wrap and freeze it. Roll out the plain mixture between two sheets of plastic wrap to make a long rectangle. Then remove the top plastic and place the frozen red in the centre. Using your plastic wrap, wrap the plain mixture around the red one, just like you're wrapping up a present. Then place that back in the freezer while you roll out the green. And again, you want a long rectangle. Remove the plastic wrap from the top and add your roll to the middle and wrap it up just like you did before. If you have any little gaps when you're wrapping, you can fill them with extra green from the end, just like this, so the whole thing is covered. Then freeze that again for about 30 minutes. Then you simply want to slice the roll and you get these cute little watermelons. You can leave them whole like this or cut them in half to make slices. Then add some mini chock chips to each one for the seeds. They look super cute and this recipe makes two full trays of them and all you need to do is just bake them for 15 minutes and then leave them to cool. Next we have a beautiful watermelon cake inspired by one from Black Star Pastry. To make it take a whole watermelon and cut off the rind, just get all of the white bits off there too and then cut slices of the watermelon trying to make them as even as you can. Use a cake ring to cut a circle from each piece. If you don't have a cake ring, it's okay. You can just use a saucer upside down and cut around it with a knife. Also cut layers of sponge cake to match the same size circle. And my sponge cake recipe and video is on the website for you. Whip 600 mils of cream with some vanilla and whip that until you get stiff peaks. Place the first layer of cake onto a stand or a plate and then add a cylinder of acetate around it. And you can just buy acetate online if you don't have any. If you have a cake ring, you can add that to the base. If not, just tape the acetate together so that it doesn't come undone. I've taped it at the top of mine. Pipe in a layer of cream, just doing circles, and then add a disc of watermelon on top, pushing it down into place. Sprinkle on some almond meal and this just helps absorb any excess moisture sitting on top of the watermelon so that the cream sits on it properly and doesn't slide off. Pipe on another layer of cream and then add your next layer of cake, pushing it down into place. More cream, then push down another disc of watermelon and of course top that with more cream. Slice up some strawberries and use them to decorate the top of your cake. Then sprinkle it with some pistachios for some green colour and some blueberries. And then refrigerate that for 30 minutes. Remove the cake ring, then peel off the acetate just prior to when you want to serve it. Cut slices and serve immediately. This makes an easy, quick cake with perfect looking layers. Next we have watermelon and yogurt ice cream. Puree some watermelon and then in an ice cream machine add two cups of cold watermelon puree and one cup of vanilla yogurt. I found these proportions really refreshing and light. If you're after something more creamy and rich, you could increase the proportion of yogurt and decrease the amount of watermelon juice. 
churn it until it's firm and then serve scoops of your yogurt watermelon ice cream and this is so refreshing on a hot day now for my favorite one this is super easy watermelon pizza cut a slice of watermelon and make it round just like you did for the cake or you could use a slice with the rind on if you wanted to in a bowl mix together your cream cheese icing sugar and vanilla and once you've got that all smooth just add it to the center of the watermelon and spread it out leaving a border of your watermelon around the edge sprinkle on blueberries pistachios and chopped strawberries and then cut it into pizza shaped slices and serve immediately this is actually still good the next day if you store it in the fridge but when dealing with fresh fruit i always like it better if it's eaten the same day for more watermelon ideas you can see my watermelon cheesecake recipe here from last year or the how to carve a watermelon video or even the fruit slushy video and you can find more of my 10 best recipe series here make it a great week and i'll see you on friday 